What's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. Clayton Kershaw re-signing with the Dodgers. We're going to break it down in just a second. But quick reminder for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all offseason long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you're going to see us post even more Dodgers content, you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. What are your expectations? for Clayton Kershaw. What are your thoughts on the deal? Give me your reaction down below. And for all latest Dodgers news, head over to DodgersNation.com. Clayton Kershaw is re-signing with the Dodgers. He will be back in L.A. for his 16th season. It was first reported by Ken Rosenthal, who tweeted out, Clayton Kershaw and Dodgers nearing one-year deal. Sources tell The Athletic. Then following that, New York Post John Heyman tweeted out, Dodgers great Clayton Kershaw and the team are in agreement. Deal thought worth close to $20 million for 2023. Ken Rosenthal was on it. So this doesn't come is a major surprise. I told you after the season that I felt Clayton Kershaw would be back in Dodger blue, and I still firmly believe that he'll never play for another team for the remainder of his career. Now, there were some fans out there that thought maybe he would play for the Texas Rangers, maybe he would consider retirement, but after the Dodgers season ended, he made it pretty clear that he was going to be back. Andrew Friedman made it very clear as well that they wanted him back. Now, the difference between this year and last year is the Dodgers, they got the this deal done quickly. We have the deal reported in November, whereas a lot of time passed. Of course, you did have the lockout, and ultimately Kershaw did re-sign on a $17 million deal last year with incentives, and he was coming off that injury, and a lot there was a lot of doubt about his future and a lot of uncertainty with that elbow injury, but he got that PRP shot. He pitched very well. You saw his first start of the season in Minnesota. He flirted with a perfect game, and he was outstanding when he was on the mound. In 20 two starts. Kirsch posted a 2.28 ERA, a 27.6 strikeout rate, a 4.7 walk rate, a 47.1 ground ball rate, a .71 home runs per nine. The only issue with Kershaw is keeping him healthy. And he did deal with a back injury last year. He had that pelvic injury, but when he was on the mound, he was still a top 10 to 15 pitcher and the numbers back that up. Last season in Major League Baseball for pitchers that toss a minimum of 120 innings. Kirsch's 228 ERA ranked sixth. His 257 FIP was also sixth. His 251 expected ERA was third. His 27.8 strikeout rate was 16th. His 4.7 walk rate was 13th. His 205 opponent's batting average was 16th. So the numbers back it up. When he's healthy and on the mound, he's still one of the best pitchers in the game. And you also consider the fact that he's using that slide more than his fastball. He has completely reinvented himself out there on the mound, and he's still able to pitch at an elite level and have a sub-3 ERA, even with the diminished velocity. So the Dodgers, they got Kershaw back on a great team-friendly deal. They didn't extend that qualifying offer once again, just like they didn't do it last year out of respect for Clayton Kershaw. But like I said, the difference this year is they got the deal done quickly because there wasn't a big decision as far as his future, as far as the injury was concerned so he'll be back on the mound in LA and in case you're keeping score for how much money he's earned during his Hall of Fame career with the extra 20 million dollars he'll be at 291.3 million dollars so getting close to that 300 million dollar mark so he's made a lot of money and I definitely believe he gave the Dodgers a hometown discount if he wanted to sign with the Texas Rangers I know they would sign him to a multi-year deal so Kershaw wanted to be back in LA maybe Maybe we have a little farewell tour if he decides to hang him up, but we broke it down on the latest episode of the Blue Heaven podcast, the Dodgers re-signing Clayton Kershaw. You got a deal, according to Ken Rosenthal. We know Ken Rosenthal at times can get himself in trouble trying to be first on things. And yeah, I mean, everybody else has kind of confirmed it since then, but he was also first on Jock Peterson and Ross Stripling going to the Angels, and that didn't work out. But, I mean, good deal. It's big news. Walker Buehler was happy. Big boy back. Kershaw, you know, you got your your number one, your number two guy, your one one B guy, the guy that this rotation desperately needs. So, as of now, it's Julio, it's Kirsch, and it's and the rest. 
Yeah. Well, how do you feel about the 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 readdition or the uh, the return of Kershaw and what it means for the starting rotation? Like I always say, I'm not a hyper religious guy, but I'm a devout Christian. I believe in the Church of Christianity, and I think just having him back on that twenty million dollar deal, I don't think Dodger fans really realize how great of a deal that is. I mean, if Clayton Kershaw didn't have this same undying loyalty to this organization, if he was a Max Scherzer type, Clint, he'd go out there and get himself a three year deal, and he would be able to get that. Yeah. So I think that's so advantageous for this organization to have a guy that's still as effective as Clayton Kershaw. And granted, he's not going to give you over a 200 innings or close to it. He hasn't thrown over a 130 innings since back in 2019, but I think at this stage of his career, he knows what he is. As, yeah. And I mean that by more than just from a health perspective. I think from a pitch mix, you see he goes to that slider more than that fastball. It's about commanding his, the zone and hitting his spots, and he's still pristine when it comes to not walking, guys. That he's still missing bats. I think that his postseason outing he had wasn't great. He definitely was grinding against the Padres, found a way to get through five, giving up three runs. And look, the reality is he wasn't great last season the postseason in his one start was not great in 2018 or 2019 but he was great in yeah. 2020 and why was that well you had a shorter season so you didn't have as much mileage on that yes. back on that arm so i think that the dodgers and kershaw they have a great partnership and they know what it's going to take to get him to be effective in october and that is yeah you're going to see that occasional il stint during the year when he gets that cortisone shot yeah you are going to see him miss some time but i still believe in his stuff and I think that look you're going to have a retired jersey number 22 you are going to see him inducted as a first ballot hall of famer we will be there one day when he has a statue but we're not there yet he has to make one more world series run with the Dodgers and I think that's his goal I think he wants one more ring and then he can start thinking about hanging him up yeah, I, don't, I, I just really can't ever imagine him being in Texas. I mean, sure, that's been on there. Sure, Texas has really wanted to pursue this guy because that's a massive get for a club like that that's trying to do something different and trying to, uh, you know, really make a name for themselves on the free agent market. But Los Angeles Dodgers and Clayton Kershaw are just one in the same. That's how it goes. That's yeah. how it belongs. The world is right when that is happening, and it's going to be, by all accounts, right again. Uh, hopefully, we get an official announcement sometimes this uh, sometime this week. But yeah, going back to your take on Clayton Kershaw too, when it comes to the Rangers and that whole experience, I think that it might be fun for a few starts. Oh, the hometown kid, the hometown legend. But then when they're in fourth place in the AL West yeah. and they're not sniffing the postseason, he'll realize he made the mistake to go to Texas. And I think that, look, he's done everything. He's won everything. He's been there, won that. The only thing that's left for Clayton Kershaw is to win another World Series to possibly make a run at a World Series MVP. And he knows there's really only a handful of organizations that go on to make World Series runs. And that's not happening anytime soon in Texas. And I think that, yeah, I just think it's a great deal. I just am so excited that you can get a top 15 to 20 pitcher on a one-year contract yeah. for $20 million. It's a great deal for the Dodgers. There's really, I mean, listen, he's he's made his big money deals. He had yeah. a, he had the massive seven-year deal. Then they turned that into the, the three-year extension after the fact. Clayton Kershaw has made his money. Now it's about comfort. Now it's about familiarity. Uh, and it's about winning. But it's also, beyond that, it's going to be about his family. And, you know, the, I feel like, and we've talked about it before, like the kids are enjoying this. His kids are Good very point. much enjoying, you know, the kids are barely growing up to that age where they can fully understand or start to understand, hey, this is cool. My dad's in a major league locker room. You know, he gets, everybody loves him most of the time, except for when it's October. <laughs> you know, it's like, it's a fun experience for him. Uh, Jose. Had a great one. Puig needed Danny Duffy's agent to keep the poor guy off the grid and out of trouble. Oh, <laughs> wow. You guys remember Danny Duffy? Uh, what else we got? What else we got? Jonas liked Andrew Heaney and Anthony Keene, our friend, saying proud member of the Church of 22. Did another devote uh, Christian. It's, it's great. Hard. It's, yeah. hard to, it's hard one to say. Roach, I don't believe in Jesus Christ, but I believe in Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> On the eighth um, day, God made Kershaw. Oh. But we got uh, saying uh, we got uh, Juice Narrows non tender Cody. Now we'll talk about that in a second. We've got Roach. He doesn't have a perfect game. Cough. Thanks, Hanley. Cough. Ouch. That one burns every single time. Like I always say, when it comes to that no hitter, it was the perfect no hitter. If you look at the game score, if you look at everything yeah. he achieved. But uh, yeah, he would have had one this year if it wasn't for Dave Roberts, right, Clint? <laughs> but uh, um, no, uh, uh, I wanted to talk one more thing on Kershaw because we haven't talked enough about Clayton Kershaw. <laughs> 
Because you mentioned you want all the smoke tonight, bro. You I mentioned like it. you I'm mentioned here for the it. injury uh, the, um, about the beef. You mentioned the injuries and and him. Uh, you know, Kershaw <laughs> even talked about it this year being healthy at the right time, and that's a that, that's a crucial, that's a critical part. He was not healthy at the right time in 21. Most of the other years, he's kind of been healthy at the right time, or at least held together by by glue and hope. Um, but you know, him missing time during the year kind of is to the advantage of the Dodgers because, yeah, it keeps the, some of the mileage off the arm for that season, but it gives them an opportunity to see what a Ryan Pepio can do, what a, a Michael Grove, and then, you know, into next year, Gavin Stone, Bobby Miller. Uh, you're going to see a lot of these dudes making differences, and I think we're, we're definitely going to bring point. up a few it's more a of, of those names coming up. <laughs>